Good morning, folks. This is an animation of Antarctic ice melt caused by our warming oceans. Red shows the worst melting. The animation comes from NASA, and the link will be below along with all the others. Appears the tortoise in this race has the finish line in sight. Kind of puts these weekly Mars could have life articles in their place, doesn't it? <laughs> this is a great article out of Physorg. The quantum topic might go over your head, but certainly not the notion of standard physics model being wrong. Welcome to the party, pal. Sonoma Gamma Ray Monitoring underwent some changes at some point in the last week and they've posted some backlog bursts seen here in red from a few days ago. Having a quick look at RSOE, moderate quake way up north, again. We had a 5.2 on the Atlantic Ridge along with a moderate quake well off the subduction zone of the Americas. At the Diablo Canyon nuke plant, jellyfish inundation has caused a shutdown. It's 2011 all over again. A more serious situation in South Carolina. A worker was exposed to a certain uranium acid he's being taken care of. For the third time in 48 hours, we have a geomagnetic storm. We are still in this coronal hole stream after getting hit with three tiny coronal mass ejections. You see constant perturbation of our magnetic shield here. About as strong a resonance over as many frequency bands as any of us have ever seen. Red above blue is the solar plasma penetrating our defenses. You can see at the end it does ease up a bit. That is evident here as well with the ovation prime. The solar wind speed, the yellow, is going back down but it is still almost double its normal speed. Remember that the end of a coronal hole stream can coincide with a big quake, especially now with days of bad space weather and another CME on the way, set to be a direct hit today. Look here at the Earth footprint, just a quick look. The interplanetary magnetic tether of the Earth connects to the Sun right there. You might remember that this spot down here was Beta Gamma Delta yesterday. Not anymore. You can see there is no red or yellow creeping in between these blue regions here. This region up north is actually our best chance at instability due to complexing morphology. You can see a thin plasma filament here, another in the center of the sun. This dark coronal hole will be facing Earth today, producing yet another space weather event. Lots to watch, folks. That's the news. Be safe.